Hola chicos, ¿cómo están? El día de hoy acá en Chagalán, chicos, vamos a continuar con Vampires. Eh, me falta darle la weá de resfriado a este tipo. Eh, pero no sé dónde está, así que es un poco difícil, la verdad. Me gustaría tal vez encontrarlo, él pertenecía a este pueblo. What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. I must insist, sir. Please let me see Nurse Crane. I have no time for you, sir. Tengo que investigar las acciones de Darius Patrus. It's locked. ahí, pero ya saben, tengo que investigar más para poder entrar ahí. No sé dónde está el viejo este. de ahí, de anillo y cosas por el estilo o las vendo o o, o las desarmo una o dos. pero no sé cómo generar o sea cómo hacer más recetas más acá, pero es difícil. Di, di, di. Bueno, aquí me habla. Mira, no me mata que estoy golpeando. Que no mata gente, weón.
Dice tranquilo muchachos, no se olviden de... ¿Cómo se hubiera, o sea, es como si hubiera habido gente ahí así, una cosa muy lenta. mil de experiencia es muy poquito es como nada en realidad gastarte mil de experiencia en este momento no no sirve de nada ahora igual el juego como que te deja muy metido como muchas cosas por lo menos a mí eh, pero también en cierto modo te cierran las puertas porque no es no, es, no digamos que es como un mundo 100% abierto es como un juego que te guste o no te guste o no Vas a tener que investigar. Eh... You never... Me gusta no, si esta wea... Joe Peterson. He's the villain here, isn't he? But you seem to know each other. I've known Joe for years. I saw him box once or twice. He was a friend then. But these days, he's just another thug. What can you tell me about Mr. Peterson? Besides his behavior toward you, obviously. Colossus Joe was a decent boxer, good one even. But after his wife passed away, he found every excuse to stop training. Just wanted to pick fights with everyone. Without making excuses for him, It's safe to say that despair can poison even the sanest mind. We've all had some rough times, ain't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. And no one has ever stood up to this thug. Nobody would be fool enough to stand against the wet boot boy. You see. You get over here, man. Right then. Show me what you have. Keep the NS. Muchacho. Time to pay, one way or another. You again. I should never have taken that. What cobra? What is that cobra? Good bye, Mr. Me toca la puerta. No sé si se dieron cuenta, pero. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. But you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. I am. But the answers I seek are based on facts, not superstition. What do you mean? When you say that I am more lost than you thought. Oh, it's quite a oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. As a doctor, you must be aware of a decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself. Corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes, I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. I have heard enough. Goodbye. No, Good evening. It's fun. Yeah. Quite... Well, As what? The... Really? And what would be your answer to this biblical threat? 
We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. Detalles, detalles. Todo el que combatir el equipo. Detalles, detalles. No kitties. Yo voy a curar a bronquitis, eh. Tell me, Tobias, what exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flames. Science and progress are our only hope against the monstrosity hidden behind this epidemic. See, Doctor? Now you acknowledge the presence of evil within the city's walls. Now you start to admit the truth. Have you any friends? Any family left in these terrible times? No. But I have a disciple I see as my son. He is so devoted. I sent him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupted city. Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the pestilence and evil grows night after night. You sent him on some preaching crusade during the epidemic? As a true believer. Samuel will fear no evil while he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses, but I especially abhor that Nurse Crane you mentioned. So you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. Les de sentenciarlos como que al fin y al cabo los vas a tener que matar o sea si tú deseas ¿no? supongo es como lo que entiendo ahora este juego si tú o sea si no te gusta escuchar eh, no no puedo escuchar no 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 Perhaps you could help me, since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. It's a disgrace. People are left to die alone. No one is properly informed of the risks. These are bad times indeed. So much for the glorious British Empire. What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. That's quite honorable of you. But is the public interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist. 
hoping to sell some stories. Have you any idea of the danger you face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do you think the flu is really responsible for this, Doctor? That science is unable to explain the facts doesn't mean there is no rational explanation. <sighs> I confess, I share your point of view, Doctor. Goodbye, Mr. Duck. Podría decir que normal. Dentro de todo lo que yo he visto, este tipo es normal. Y aquí no hay mucha gente normal en este pueblo, la verdad. Agotamiento, fíjense. Se puede hacer un brebaje de agotamiento. Y una de bronquitis también. Agotamiento y bronquitis. Puta, la verdad, la verdad es como que no dejo de ver cosas, o sea, constantemente veo gente eh, herida, o sea, enferma. Agotamiento y bronquitis. con esas tres pero no tengo no tengo más tampoco me gustaría saber un poco más de medicina pero no tengo acceso todavía hay cosas que no tengo por ejemplo hay enfermedades ahí que no que no puedo curar la migraña por ejemplo no tengo idea cómo curarla ¿no? Ahora prefiero andar con con esos medicamentos ya conmigo porque al otro lado, o sea, esta weá aquí, bueno, este lo va a sacar, pero... Se 
supieran qué es lo que soy, weón, se desmayarían, yo creo. Aquí ya no puedo saltar. Simplemente tengo que caminar, no a correr. Por ejemplo, ella es nueva en Don't be shy, este handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right, then. But be quick. Though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. <laughs> Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London. You could be exposed. Or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals. But I don't like you asking questions. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. You can put your own life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger, too. And you think that would worry me? If you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time, until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Tiene su punto, pero no sé si su punto realmente... Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Anything you can tell me about her would be helpful. I don't know her. But I know her name is Dorothea Krasionescu. She came from Romania, like me and many others. You seem to respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. Goodbye, Min. Good evening, Doctor. Can I help? Do you need assistance? That would be nice of you, Doctor. Who knows what I may have caught you in my investigation. If you persist in investigating the most pox-ridden boroughs of London, you must accept the risks. Thank you, sir. Christina Popper claims she sells her body because she can't find any other work. Do you believe her? Of course I do. Her story is exactly what I want my readers to understand. We live in an intolerant and divided nation. Do you think things will ever change, Mr. Darby? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. 
Goodbye, Mr. Dark. Farewell. Good evening, Dark. Goodbye, Mr. Dark. Como se los dije en algún episodio atrás. Este juego es sinceramente, en mis palabras honestas, es más para Good evening, investigar. Miss. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm, truly. No, no. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with you being mute, does it? Very well. Goodbye then. <laughs> Hello. I know you understand. No dice nada. Very well. Goodbye then. Ahora, ¿para qué sirve Hello saber again, que please. tengo yo arriba no tengo perro idea de cautivación? Y como cautivo, weón. Very well. Goodbye then. Entonces ahí lo estoy recuperando. Cristina Popa. Aquí dice. ¿Y ella es Cristina Popa? Hello again, mister. Very well. Goodbye, then. Hello again, miss. Very well. Cristina Popia es la... ya sé quién es Chavo también pero... Cristina Popia es la chica que está acá Este juego se va a hacer muy largo, ¿no? porque tiene muchas cosas, ¿no? o sea... Ella es Cristina Popia. Good evening, Chris. Change your mind. Goodbye. Cristina, ¿qué quiere Cristina? Agotamiento. Perfiado. Y eso yo lo tengo. Mi eh, iraña, agotamiento, debería ser eso. Lo tendría que volver acá. Tengo a ver si tengo que ir acá. No sé si sirva, weón. Estoy con la duda esa del. Servirá. O no servirá. Servirá a ayudar, servirá a ser bueno, servirá. Servirá.
Tabito. O sea, yo veo el mapa y... Está al otro lado de la calle, o sea, tendría que seguir por aquí, cruzar, dar la vuelta, o sea... la vuelta por acá y bajar por acá Así es. y bueno y darle medicina a ella pero O sea, miren, si todo el tiempo se empiezan a enfermar y toda la weá, no me la voy a pasar curando a nadie, la verdad, en serio. Ahora, igual es necesario hablar con todo el mundo. Eso va... ya le he comentado, creo que varias veces. Van a... si quieren jugar este juego, weón, si quieren puta, avanzar, eh, van a tener que hacerlo, si les guste o no les guste. Tratamiento Migraña Anemia Sepisis Neumonía Bronquitis Y acá la idea es que necesito sacar más información. Así que nada chicos, eso va a ser por el día. Ya saben, suscríbanse, dejen like, comenten los videos, comparten el canal y los veo en un próximo episodio.